Have you ever wondered if ghosts truly exist? It's a question that sends a shiver down many a spine. Some dismiss it with a laugh, others answer with a solemn nod. Ghosts, spectres, apparitions, these whispered words carry tales of the unknown, of eerie happenings that defy explanation. They're the shadows that dance in our peripheral vision, the cold breath on our neck in an empty room. So, do you believe? Well, let me share a tale that might make you question everything you think you know. Thanks for tuning into Nightmare in a Dreamlands channel I'll be taking over today with this horrifying story, so stick around to the end to find out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, drop a comment and let us know if you like this video and hit that notification bell for more videos like these. Let's get back to it. Our story begins with a young lad, the new kid in town, who knew nothing of the chilling tale that awaited him. He was fresh-faced and full of life, his eyes sparkling with curiosity and excitement. His family, as warm and welcoming as a summer's day, had recently moved to this obscure little town, leaving behind their bustling city life. Their new home was a charming old house, one that held a certain mystique, like a book waiting to be opened. The new kid was enthralled by this change of scenery, eager to explore the cobwebbed corners of this quaint town and the mysteries it held. He was thrilled at the thought of making new friends, of sharing laughter and adventures with them, unaware of the eerie undertone that underpinned his new surroundings. His heart was filled with innocent joy and a thirst for discovery, oblivious to the haunting whispers that echoed through the silent streets. Little did he know, his curiosity would lead him to an encounter that would change his life forever. In his new circle of friends, he heard whispers about Old Man Myrtle's ghost. The tale was as old as the town itself, entrenched in the roots of the towering oaks and whispered in the rustling of the autumn leaves. Old Man Myrtle once lived here, in a barn that now stood abandoned, a weathered monument to a time long past. The friends huddled together, their voices dropping to hushed tones as they spoke of the barn. They painted a picture of a place where the wind howled through the cracks in the wood, where the moonlight cast long, unearthly shadows, and where, on the quietest of nights, you could hear the soft, mournful whine of a harmonica, the favourite instrument of Old Man Myrtle. They spoke of doors that creaked open on their own accord, of cold spots that would suddenly appear, and of strange lights that danced in the darkness. They whispered tales of eerie laughter that echoed through the barn, of phantom footsteps that seemed to pace the loft, and of a spectral figure that was often seen in the moonlit windows, gazing out at the world it no longer belonged to. The stories were chilling, the kind that made the hair on the back of your neck stand up, that made you glance over your shoulder, that made you question every creak and groan of your own home. Yet they were enthralling, a forbidden fruit of fear and fascination. Despite the chilling tales, the new kid's curiosity was piqued. One fateful night, the new kid decided to visit the haunted barn. The moon, a sliver in the dark sky, cast long, eerie shadows across the landscape. His heart pounded against his ribs like a wild drum, echoing the rhythm of his footsteps on the gravel path leading to the barn. As he inched closer, an owl hooted in the distance, the sound echoing in the stillness making him jump. The barn loomed before him, an ominous silhouette against the night sky. A gust of wind rattled the loose wooden panels, creating a symphony of creaks and groans that sent chills down his spine. He pushed the barn door open, the rusty hinges squealing in protest. The scent of old straw and decay filled his nostrils. He ventured further in, his flashlight beam dancing over the cobweb-laden corners and abandoned farm tools. Suddenly, the barn was filled with an unnatural coldness, and he could hear the distant sound of a harmonica playing a mournful tune. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw it. A shadowy figure, tall and thin, standing at the far end of the barn. His heart froze as he turned his flashlight towards it, revealing the spectral figure of a man. The man wore a weathered hat and overalls, his eyes hollow and empty, frozen with fear. He stood there, staring at the spectral figure of Old Man Myrtle. But what happened next? Nobody expected. The ghost of Old Man Myrtle shattered the stillness, not with a bone-chilling wail, but with a cordial hello. The spine-tingling narrative suddenly pivoted, revealing the ghost not to be a force of evil, but a spirit yearning for company. The tale took an unexpected turn, teaching the new kid a valuable lesson. Appearances can be deceiving. 
And so, the new kid learned an unforgettable lesson about fear, curiosity, and unexpected friendships.